Galactic Tunnels. It's time for uh, El Toro, El Toro, the Lonely Bull, Taurus. Holy Spirit, link me to the soul cycle of Taurus, please. <laughs> oh, illusions, Seven of Cups. Walking away from your illusions. Very wise, very wise indeed, El Toro. Soul cycle of El Toro. Taurus. You've mastered your feelings, or you're dealing with somebody who's possibly a water sign and an Aquarius. You're being noticed for, ma for mastering your feelings. There, El Toro. Let's leave it here. Your stardom. Faith, hope, and healing. You've healed yourself inwardly. Let's see, what do we got in the heart of the situation? Much is hidden with the moon here. These can also be dealing with uh, emotions, which I'm thinking it is because uh, Pre Shuffle said that you master, you're mastering your feelings. It's a challenge here, Holy Spirit, for El Toro. Thinking practically is a challenge, or you could be challenged by a Earth sign, possibly a uh, Capricorn, Nine of Pentacles, or a Virgo. Virgo. You could be uh, challenged by a Virgo, or you could be, your challenge is uh, luxurious living. Well, that's a challenge I would like to have. Oh, here we go. What do we got in the subconscious? Oh, death. Subconsciously, you're thinking about the transformations that you've made, mastering your feelings, how far you've come. You booked appointment with Dr. Death and you went to all of uh, your appointments and you have come out a different person. You went into the cocoon as it is and you come out a butterfly. Beautiful, beautiful. In the past, how the fuck did we get here? Conflict, oh yes, when you change, whenever you change your notes and you start singing a different tune, there's always gonna be conflict. That brings conflict. It's part of your transformation. <laughs> I know. Eh? It's not all as, as fun as it is as they tell you on Oprah Winfrey. I know. Mm. What do we got in the uh, present? Prince of Cups. Oh, wow. You are the King of Cups. Mm, this is the King of Cups in this one. No, no, the prince is um, the Knight of Cups, sorry. The Knight of Cups. Well, so you're bringing out a cup of love presently, or apology, or somebody is, maybe you are. Or somebody's maybe seen that you change and they're apologizing. In the future, there is Five of Cups. This is Lost Lock, bleh, Lost Lack and Sorrow. So if you're bringing a, a cup of love to somebody, maybe it's not the right thing to do. Let's see here. We got in the, uh, oh my goodness, a reversible, irreversible tower. This is a tower you cannot escape. It's, it's with either the way you're, you're putting somebody else in a tower that they cannot escape, or you are in a tower that you cannot escape. We got in the uh, hopes and fears, hopes and fears, all blocked. You're fearing that this uh, Queen of Pentacles is blocking you. There's nine of pentacles. It's in the challenge position. I'm taking it. Queen of pentacles is Capricorn energy. Yes, Capricorns. The hardest workers of the zodiac. Mm. What do we got in the um, lens you'll be looking through there? El Toro. Mm. Queen of swords reversed. Oh my goodness. Wow. Bitchzilla. Sorry, but that's what it is. That's Bitchzilla. Yes, when the Queen of Swords is reversed, yikes. There's no reasoning with her. She's a hurt. What she says is the truth, and that's it, even if it's a total lie. And everybody knows it's a lie. Everybody's too scared to tell her. Because, uh, yeah, they like their, they like head. And they especially like their head on their shoulders. What do we got in the environment?
environment. You've got the Empress in your environment, the Ace of Cups, an Empress in love. Well, or you're in love with this Empress. This Empress is in love with you, Apo. It's amazing how how good uh, mastering your feelings can look on you. <laughs> what do we got in the outcome? El Toro. Heartbreak and judgment. Judgment upon a heartbreak, it could be. Somebody's going to break your heart. But they're going to pay for it. 23, somebody could be 23, 32. Or a religious leader. Yeah, could be a religious leader. His heart being broken. And somebody who God, God looks out for. God looks out for everybody, but there's certain people that he really looks out for because they, they're doing his work, right? Okay, why, uh, first I'm gonna ask, why are you in Queen of Swords mode? Why, what, what's Scott Del Toro in Queen of Swords mode? Reverse mode. Queen of Swords mode is good. Okay, business is not doing well. This adds up to eight strength. Knowing when to hold back is maybe a problem. Okay, what's this cup of love in the present moment? This Knight of Cups. Who is this? Oh, somebody ungrateful. Six of Pentacles. Somebody's getting paid and they're ungrateful. They're ungrateful for what they're getting getting something. This adds up to, uh, with the Prince of Cups added on top, it adds up to 11. Balancing of the scales. So this balancing of the scales is currently going on. And that said, somebody's ungrateful. And they're getting paid in for being ungrateful. What's hidden with the moon in the heart of this situation? This one. You're taking a leap of faith. You're going on a fool's journey. Or somebody is. And the fool is innocent. What else is hidden about this? Queen of Wands. Okay, there could be a Queen of Wands involved. Somehow somebody who's easy on the eyes. Mm, out, outside the box thinker. Mm, hard to uh, do battle with somebody like that. You never know what they're going to do next. Because sometimes even they don't know. <laughs> it's very hard to fight somebody like that. Um, What's this Nine of Pentacles? Luxurious living is a challenge. How can luxurious living, that's like I say, that's a challenge I would like to have, El Toro. I'll switch your challenges. Oh, okay. Luxurious living for putting out somebody's passion in new beginning. That's not good. That's like taking somebody's passion in new beginning and putting it out like a cigarette butt. Well, who's doing such a thing? I'm taking it, it's this Queen of Pentacles, this hard worker. Who's doing such a thing? Uh, the Emperor reversed and a Hermit reversed. Oh my goodness, this is a powerful person, El Toro. The Emperor reversed and a Hermit reversed. That's up to 13, transformation. That's a king of transformation. Yes, a wizard, if you will. Well, Bottom of the deck, we got the star. You're in the limelight, or somebody's in the limelight. Hmm. Uh, Holy Spirit, what would you like to tell uh, El Toro? I don't know why. Uh, here on the Great Plains, Winnipeg, Manitoba. This one come out reversed too. What the hell's going on here? These two come out reversed. Oh no, these are reversed. Somebody from your past is very, very guarded. This adds up to 15 again. The devil. So this is a Capricorn. It's very, very guarded right now. This came out in Aries reading too. You might want to look at that. Um, why is this Capricorn guarded? Holy Spirit. They're holding on to a lot of secrets. What's your advice, Holy Spirit? Okay, we've got a few seconds left here. What? Be the Prince of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles. Yeah, be the, the Prince of Pentacles. A slow-moving knight, slow-moving like the tortoise, but wise in your ears. Play the long game, you will win them, though.